Well, g'day folks, Rod Moore here from More Art School with you once again, and welcome to another episode of Learn to Paint TV. Now, this week I'm uh, still down in the Grampians area. I've got some photos from when I stayed on a ship station in the southern part of the Grampians in Victoria, and um, there were some beautiful old hay bales uh, laying in the field and so on. So I thought we'd do a, a composition today with some strong foreground elements, a nice big tree to counterbalance that, and then some distance in the landscape as well. So um, I'm gonna put together a composition based on a few different photos, and uh, I'm gonna kind of make up the composition so it's not gonna be taken from one photo. So a little bit of artistic license. As always, I'll start off with step one, doing our drawing using my little flat brush. Okay, this is a small one. Got ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson, and we will take those two, mix them together, and get a nice mauvey colour. And add a bit of water to it because we are using the acrylics. We want to just thin that down for the purposes of our drawing. So what I'm proposing is we have uh, we have a nice big foreground elements here, just as something different, a really strong foreground. And I think these hay bales that are freshly cut, uh, they do make for some interesting compositions. So we will uh, have a play around. And, and they've got some nice strong shadows on them as well, which again, that, that just makes it uh, quite an interesting thing to paint. Um, this one here, so we've got one that's sort of behind here. I'll just make that a little bit bigger, that one there. And uh, got a little one that's on an unusual angle. It's just kind of been dumped on its side like that. So that's sitting out the back there a little bit. But it makes an interesting composition. And um, you know, when you look at those shapes, those of you who are members of the Learn to Paint Club, we've been doing some skill building exercises and we've got some more to add into the membership area. But we've been basically painting different shapes like squares and cones and things. That's gonna hold you in good stead for when we really get into uh, what we're going to be doing in this painting here because basically these are just shapes like we do on those skill building exercises. So then we've got another one here, a little bit smaller because it's a bit, that's behind this one, okay. So notice the base of this sits on the earth here, and this is sitting back in the distance a bit. So that's important. Okay, and then run that through there. Okay, and shadow out there. And then, so it's gonna be shadow underneath that one there. And then there's some smaller ones again, further away. So something like that. And then let's have a couple of mountain ranges because it's quite a, a mountainous area. So we'll run a mountain range in through there. And then we'll run one that sits in through there. It's quite jaggedy sort of edges, sharp. This is all part of the Grampians region, even though it's the southern part, you know. So something like that. And then we might put a couple of clouds in the sky um, up here, like so. <laughs> we'll put some fence posts in just to finish out that side of the painting. And I think that's gonna make a good little composition. I'm quite happy about that. Um, so that's step one, that's our drawing. Our next step will be to block in our tones here. I want to go for really strong, rich tones and colours here. So very bright blue sky, lots of orangey yellows in the hay bales here, really strong contrast with the shadows. In the cast shadow, we'll just cool that down a little bit. Okay, so we've got this nice big cast shadow in through here. I'm just going to my bigger brush. Notice the way I'm holding it, just to make sure I, I, I paint nice and loosely here. Okay, so we just run that around the shape there of the side of that barrel and through the side of this one here okay it's going to be some in here and here but that's 
bit further away, so I won't I'll just blew it off just slightly because we're going back in distance here. Okay. Okay, so from there, next logical step, realistically, oh, actually what we'll do, we'll just warm up this shadow here. We'll get a bit of water. I'll just underpaint this. We're not going to, um, it's going to be a lot warmer and lighter in value. But for the moment, I'll just underpaint the shadow with a nice warm tone there because it's getting more of the sunlight. So you won't see much of this in, you know, as we progress the painting, but I'll just pop it in for the moment just to get a bit of a warm feel happening in there. So we know that's where the sun's hitting on those faces there. Okay, good, good. So we've got this mountain range in here, which we um, will go with that bluer tone, a bit more white into there. Possibly even a little touch more white in there. Just make sure that that's, you know, light enough compared to that row of trees so that there is a separation there, which it looks like it is. gum tree at the moment. Okay, so that's a more mountain range that's sort of a bit closer to us. Then we shall lighten that right up. So we won't have any red in this secondary range. That's too close in value. Lighten that up again. It's sometimes hard to tell when it's up there whether it's going to work on the canvas or not. You're just going to put it up there and test as I just did and then realize, hey, that's just not going to work. So what we'll do is put a bit of warmth into the sky. I'll put a bit of yellow tone in there just to indicate the sunlight. Lighten it back just a little. Let's test that. When I put that up, that's going to look extremely... Uh, dark by comparison see that however i do want to have a very bold colors in this painting so i'll go with that however we'll just need to tone that down a bit as we go so i'll get a bit more white in there and we'll start working i've got a bit too much water in that brush so i may have to just come back into this sky a bit later on But that's certainly nice. It's a nice dark blue sky, typical of a you know hot summer's day. However, I need to get it light by the time I come close to the mountain range, or it just won't look right. A big mistake that I see a lot of beginners make, especially with seascapes, is they go way too dark in their sky, and by the time they hit the water level, um, that they're not light enough, and and they don't create that sort of gradient feel that you have to have in a sky. So to get our ground um, sort of blocking done, we're going to use uh, alizarin crimson, big chunk of that and a big chunk of the yellow ochre. Just want to mix up an earthy kind of tone here. A nice warm earthy tone is what we're going for. Okay. So plenty of paint and um, we will paint over this, but this is just the underpainting the blocking stage.
there's a few little different elements here. We just got to work around those. And it's a good chance at this point just to reshape things like the shadows and so on. Or the shapes of the barrel, the uh, hay bar bales, bales, bales. Just standing back and having a look and uh, I think it all seems to be working quite well. Happy with all of that. So that pretty much brings us to the end of step number uh, two. So we've done step one, our drawing, step two, our blocking. This needs to dry off. So regardless whether you're doing oils or acrylics, I always recommend you get your blocking stage done, then let it dry off. Then we can work out the top of this quite comfortably. So I'm gonna leave this for half an hour to an hour. Um, let it dry, bone dry. Then we'll come back and we'll start to then detail up everything and uh, it's going to look great. So um, I'll see you. Okay, welcome break. back to Learn to Paint TV. Now this has had a good chance to dry off. So let's get stuck into step three now, which is our highlights, details and finishing touches. I think we'll start off with this main tree. We'll get that in um, up into the sky here. We'll block in our darks first. And then while that's drying, we'll, we'll come down and do some of the other areas here. So up on the palette, I've got our ultramarine blue, lizard crimson, yellow ochre, our standard sort of primary palette, and titanium white. So in order to get this tree blocked in, I'm just using a medium size uh, flat brush. We'll just mix up a dark and add a little bit of yellow to that. So the same way we always do, mix up our dark. And I'll just come in here and just establish this base of this tree. Get a little bit more shadow in there. So I'm putting this in, you know, as the first step because obviously it needs to dry the dark before we can start to uh, put the highlights and so on over it. So we get this down first. Makes it a simple sort of approach. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is just uh, take this one inch brush just swish the edge of it around and let's just get in some foliage shapes in here. So I'm just using the edge of the, you can see there, edge of that brush. And uh, I've got my reference photo, so I'm using that as a bit of a guide to just get the shapes of these um, clumps of foliage in here. Let's play around with getting the face of these in. So it's predominantly yellow. Okay, it's going to have a bit of red in there because it's getting the sunlight. It's going to be a bit lighter, okay. but not too light. Won't be as light as the field color, the grass color, because that's getting um, direct sunlight into it. So let's just play around. Now it's important that we paint this round in a circular sort of motion to get that feel of the shape of it of these hay bales. Okay. Like so. And notice I'm leaving a little bit of that shadow in there because there is some shadow in the face of these. A little touch more white in there. And we'll just come back here so it should be a little bit lighter in value this one okay and then i'll get a little bit more wide into that lighten that back again and then we'll just get these ones in the back here Yeah. 
and just get a little touch yellower, a little touch lighter. And I'm just finding just on the tops of the side, it's just catching a bit of light. Like so, and this one going to be catching that light there. This one here, be catching that light along there. Along there. And I'm just going to play around putting some field tone in there it's got to be lighter than everything in here but it's got to have also the right feel to it so let's just get some yellow ochre and so titanium white <coughs> mix that up now I'm using the big brush because uh, I want this to be quite a random sort of effect I think we might need a little bit more white in there Especially out in the distance here. Get a variety of different brush strokes in there. Push that up. So what I'm wanting to do is just assess if we've got the right tone there or not. And I think that's right. Because we've got a bit of orange in these hay bales, I think that's going to work. Let's just get a bit more in. There's quite a bit yellower, that fuel colour. Yeah, that's good. Happy with that. Okay, hmm. maybe it's getting a little light, so I'll get a bit more earthy tone into there now, into a few spots. See, I'm burying that brush stroke around. Put 
it's starting to get fairly tacky on me. Let us run in some foliage colour. So it's going to be a, a light bluey green. Get a bit more blue into that. We don't want this to uh, dominate the painting. Now, I have no idea whether that's the right tone or not. Um, some light's coming from there, which means this side is going to be the highlighted side. I'll get just a little bit of that cad yellow in there because it was looking a bit murky. Pull the paint out, don't want too much paint, just tap the edges and let's just do a bit of a test. Actually, it's probably not bad. I think adding that cadmium yellow was a bit of a master stroke. Well done, Rob. Yeah, but, you know, it's just a very light touch. is what I'm going for. Time for us to get back up to that big tree. So we'll go in here with our blue and our yellows. Okay. I might as well just punch it right up with that cadmium yellow. Let's just get some of that in. I think that's about as much as I want to do with this one. Keep it simple. Keep it as a beginner to intermediate style of project. It works. It's a fun little uh, farmland sort of landscape setting. Southern Grampians in Victoria. Nice hay bales there. And then what we really want to do is try and capture a sense of that really warm, hot summer's day with the blue sky and this really uh, earthy red field, you know, the blue and gold of Australian landscape. And I think we've pretty well done that. Um, the only thing I might change in hindsight was just to tone all this back row of trees back a little bit, maybe, maybe not. Um, but have a go, play around with it, and uh, I think you'll find it's an enjoyable little painting to do. And make sure you check out learntopaint.tv, and I'll see you next time on the next episode of Learn to Paint TV. Happy painting.